Chicago Park Ferme, the second to last day, and tonight they'll end up in Wanaka. Some of these cars are looking decidedly second hand, but the battle at the front is between these two guys. This is Jeff Judd, who leads the event by 50 seconds, and the Englishman, Vince Bristow, is right on his tail, and they are duelling all day, and there's only a few seconds in almost every stage. One long stage, Jeff Judd managed to pull about 30 seconds out of him, and that's where it remains at the moment. We'll see how they go tonight in Wanaka. One of the things that's always fascinated me about the sport of rallying is just how damaged cars can be one day and back on the road the next. Now this is the escort of Gary Smith and his son Adrian. They've been sharing the driving initially. Adrian turned out to be quicker and so Dad conceded and let him have the drive. We think this one's probably past it right now. But cars like this can be repaired and back on the road sometimes in a few hours. Gary Adcock's lovely BMW and in the results he'd been running right behind Dave Strong in challenge all of a sudden yesterday disappeared from those results and out of contention. What happened? Uh, we had a, a problem with the starter motor, pulled up at the um, service park and had to wait 10 minutes before we were allowed in, turned the car off and then when we went to start it, no starter so uh, it just sort of seized and melted itself. So, so we didn't have a replacement in, in the kit, otherwise um, we wouldn't have lost the three stages in the afternoon. Had to send the crew to Dunedin to get one, so um, lucky they sourced one from there and fixed it overnight and we're back today.